Skepta ever since I can remember has been in my top three UK artists just of all time. Um, whether we're talking grime, whether we're talking about what he's done in the States, what, what he's just done for culture in general. Like, the reason I love Skepta is no matter how many times people have counted him out or doubted him or said he can't one-up himself, he goes and one-ups himself. Like, he goes and just pulls it out the bag somehow. That's how I've always viewed Skepta, just in his career in general. Um, and over the years, he's had many hits. He's had so many bangers. He's had, you know, from commercial hits like That's Not Me and Shut Down and Praise The Lord, you know, down to, you know, some of the most legendary moments in UK culture. Um, and then, but but this is one that just flown under the radar for me. Lukey's World. Um, most people watching this video probably don't even know this track, but in my opinion, this is the hardest Skepta track I have ever heard. It's my favorite at the very least. Um, although that's not me as considered very commercial, that's probably in my top three. Um, and what else would we throw up there? I don't know, man. There's too many to pick from. The, the, the diss track to uh, Devil Man Nasty was pretty cold as well. Um, but th this just has to take number one spot for me. Um, I don't know why. It just resonates with me differently. This song has made me pause it and sit there for half an hour and consider life you know them ones there where it like is really making you think deep so um if you haven't heard the track we're gonna go for it i'm gonna do my best to play it but also pause it copyright is skepta probably gonna get copyrighted so there's gonna be a lot of pausing um but yeah i encourage you to just go and check the song out for yourself that's probably the best way to listen to it so without further ado let's have one of the coldest i don't know samples voxes vocal samples i don't know what you want to call it but this thing right here different <laughs> I don't know what it is about that. It's like a flute. It's either a voice played through, sampled through a flute instrument or some sort of wind instrument. But, or it literally is a wind instrument and it just has this crazy EQ something over it. I don't know, but. And then the bass just coming in underneath. And then the drums, snares. Woo! This one's for Lukey. The reverb on that snare is different as well. So, uh, for anyone who don't know as well, this is about his brother Lukey that passed. Um, yeah, that's that's all I need to say. The best. The ends will never be the same, fam. The ends will never be the same. Like without you on the block or around by the street, the ends are not the same. Tears in my cup of Hennessy for these fucked up memories. I cry tears in my cup of Hennessy for all these fucked up memories. I cry tears in my cup of Hennessy for these fucked up memories. Cut niggas off for them bad vibes and them fucked up energies. I'm cutting these man off because they've got a fucked up energy. These man, and what what you'll find the theme throughout this track is Skepta half in Lukey's death. Making him realize the people that he surrounds himself with assuming that Lukey was one of the good ones And it makes him realize like raw. Why is man hanging around dickheads? Why is man hanging around people with bad energies people that aren't gonna progress me forward? I think that's the bit in this track that makes j just hits me different Shout to the niggas that don't like me shout out to the ones that are repping me shout out to the niggas that try to finesse me But I'm too plugged in mentally mm. heard that waste man taking shots, but he's just a wannabe Rooney taking shots But he's just a wannabe Rooney that could be a triple entendre because that could be uh, a Wayne Rooney reference. Obviously, uh, Man United striker or ex-Man United striker Wayne Rooney uh, taking shots. Football reference. Or it could be a Risky Roads reference. Um, Rooney, who's... Uh, yeah, if you know about Risky Roads, you know about Risky Roads. The end of. Uh, and, and the cameraman behind, you know, all of those legendary things shot there. Uh, he's a guy by Rooney. So, uh, man taking shots, but he's just a wannabe Rooney. Like, man taking shots at Skepsa, but... You're just a wannabe Rooney, like, like, why are you taking shots for? Like, you're just, you're just pretending, like. So that could be a triple, though. That's me, but I'm too plugged in mentally. Heard that waste man taking shots, shots, but he's, he's just a wannabe Rooney. Rooney. I, got I got niggas on standby, standby man. man. I got <laughs> niggas on duty. Mm. Your life is like a talk show. Trust me, that ain't no movie. <sighs> Never ever gonna be.
be a top boy, never ever gonna be Luki. Mm. He said, Skepta, next year, don't wanna see any of the man them on the block. Said, <sighs> and this is where we just get deep. Let me play that one more time. Gonna be Luki. He said, Skepta, next year, don't wanna see any of the man them on the block. Said that he's gonna make me proud. Tracksuit Mafia, straight to the top. So, Tracksuit Mafia is what Skepta's collective is called. Um, tracksuit mafia so so he's saying like look i don't want to see any, any of the man them hanging around on the estate i don't want to see any of these man around tottenham in meridian i don't want to see man just hanging about i want to see people doing real shit tracksuit mafia we're going straight to the top i want to be doing business i want to be at the top of the game i don't want to see us stuck in the hood basically and that's that's a powerful message right there Said when the money comes in, then all of the man them are setting up shop. Mm -hmm. He told me man are gonna be smiling. Told me champagne gonna pop. It's like, look, when we get the money, we're invested in shop. We're investing in business. We're investing in shit that's tangible. Like, and then we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna go and celebrate that success. I can hear your voice in my head like, Skeppy, keep moving forward. You shut down from Texas to Norwood. Stay low key, stay ghost. Stay low key. Like Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Don't, don't watch them man's, man's corners. corners. Do what you want and say, say what, what you feel. feel. Don't, don't care if it makes things awkward. awkward. What? Like, unapologetically be yourself. The, all right, people, th this is not going to be enjoyable for anyone who hasn't heard this song. Go and listen to the song because I'm going to just pause it a shitload. Then, once you've listened to it, come back to this video and then uh, come along this journey with me and why I love this track so much. Car. It's fucking different, man. It's different. Supposed to be grieving, but it's a do what you want and say what you feel. Don't, Don't care, care if it makes things, things awkward. Supposed to be grieving, but it's that I'm in the hood with the whole team scheming. Supposed to be leaving, but I stay right here because my heart's still bleeding. Like, because of your passing, I'm grieving. I'm hurting. I should be plotting, scheming, making big plans, but I can't because without one of the man them, one of the true man them, without Lukey. I, I'm hurting. Like, I'm not ready to be in a mindset of moving forward yet. Man needs to just take a moment and grieve. Like, that's some grown man shit right there. I know that we ain't been eating. And I know that we ain't been sleeping. But whatever mum wants, that's what mum gets. Everybody better put their peas in. What? Man are gonna pay by cash. Yes, yes man, man are gonna, gonna pay, pay by, by card. card. What? Ah! And put their peas in. Fuck off. Man are gonna pay by cash. Yes, yes man, man are gonna, gonna pay, pay by, by card. card. Cause I know that if it was one of us, trust me, Luki would have gone hard. Like, listen, we're gonna go in because if it was one of us, Luki would be one of the first people putting peas in. One of helping mums be be fucking helping out the crew. Luki would have been one of the first ones stepping forward there. So we're not gonna let him down. So many reefs and flowers. I look to the sky, man. I need some powers. Cause I feel like time's running out, man. I need more hours. Someone's death is making you just consider time, consider life, consider fucking the fact that you're breathing. Just last week we were talking about your mixtape dropping. We couldn't turn up at Oscar Studio, so we had to work with Collins. We were getting shit popping. Now I'm on Google searching coffins. What? Are you mad? Last week we was talking about your mixtape dropping. A reference to we couldn't work at Oscar's studio, so we had to work in Collins. We were getting shit popping. So just a you know, just a light story there of look, we was working on music together. We was building up to, to towards getting your mixtape dropping. And now I'm on Google searching coffins. Like yo. Last week we was talking about music. Now I'm sitting here on my phone planning your funeral. Collins, we were getting shit popping. Now I'm on Google searching coffins. This thing's confusing, man. Different, man. This thing's confusing, different. Like someone's death can can fucking throw you. Like that can leave you confused. That can leave you in this state of questioning shit. Like, and again. Skeptics just saying like this is fucked up. I cry tears in my cup of Hennessy for these fucked up memories. I cut niggas off for them bad vibes and then fucked up energies. And then he comes round with that um, I think it's a sixteen bar hook again. So he establishes that early on, which you don't think it is. And then he comes back round with that first sixteen again. Shout to the niggas that don't like me. Shout out to the ones that are repping me. Shout out to the niggas that try to finesse me, but I'm too plugged in mentally. You're never ever gonna be a top boy. Never ever gonna be Lukey. And just that beat, man, that instrument was so cold, man. Like, I remember at the time of this dropping, or around the time I discovered it at least, 
I remember looking up the instrumental and there was one on YouTube and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a Luke as well freestyle. Like, I'm going to freestyle over this beat. And I remember just thinking, you know what? I won't do this instrumental justice. Like, I'm not good enough to spit over this beat. Like, it's just one what I don't want to touch. And I feel like certain songs have that impact. They're so good that you just shouldn't touch it. Like, there are some songs in this world that I don't want to hear anybody cover because the original artist just fucking smashed it out of the park. Like, I don't believe there's a better version of it. And this is an example here. I don't believe there's a better example of Lukey's world other than Skepta's Lukey's world. Like, there's no... There's no better version than what Skepta's done here. And there we go. I don't know how long this video is going to be with the amount of talking and pausing I did, but um, it's just it's just my way of saying, like, look, <laughs> if you've heard of Skepta, this is just one of his hardest songs, in my opinion. I just want people to just understand that no matter what they think of Skepta and how commercial or whatever, you know, whatever opinion you have of Skepta, like, this is the Skepta that I fell in love with. This is the Skepta that I have always loved. The grimy side of Skepta. The Skepta that has something to say. Um, and again, I don't hate on Skepta for, for doing the more ma mainstream friendly shit. Like, good for him. You know what I mean? Like, man's getting the bag. Like, he's, he's getting the exposure that he deserves, in my opinion. You know, and he's building that audience and built that bridge with uh, the UK and the US and was one of the people to show that it's possible. Um... As well as championing some of the biggest people in the scene, making some of the biggest connections over the American scene. Like, just shout out Skepta. Skepta, I don't care what people say. Skepta's a fucking goat, in my opinion. You can't change that. Um, but yeah, this is just a reminder that no matter what Skepta does, this is his roots, and this is what I find to be Skepta's best work. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Feel free to check out the Honor Level podcast. I'm trying to be as consistent as I possibly can with it at the moment. And I'm trying to push that forward. So I appreciate you guys if you go and check that out. And uh, yeah, if you're one of the UK viewers and you've this is one of your first videos of seeing my shit, then I react to Australian rap and grime and hip hop and drill. <laughs> it sounds mad, but yeah, just go go check some of, some of that shit out. But uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you, man, later.